YouTube recently announced the new podcasting tools and features that allow creators who make video podcasts a new way to upload their episodes onto the platform. Podcasts have been one of the most popular types of content on YouTube for the past couple of years now. And one of the best ways to get discovered as a new podcaster is to have interesting and intriguing thumbnails for all of your episodes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make two podcast thumbnails using Canva. One will be in a 16 by nine ratio and one will be in a square format. All right, so I'm gonna use Canva for these podcast thumbnails and I'm gonna run you through exactly how I would make them. Straight away, we're gonna go into create a design up in the top right here. And we're gonna start off with the 16 by nine ratio thumbnail. So we can go to custom size here for YouTube. They're currently 1280 by 720 pixels. I'm gonna hit create new design. And I personally watch a lot of comedy podcasts. So I'm gonna replicate how a lot of them do their thumbnails. And it essentially starts with a rectangle so you can just hit R and it'll add a rectangle to the page here and generally they have a big banner along the top of the thumbnail itself so what you can do is hit position here and then you can put it to the top of the page and make sure it spans the full width I'm gonna come up here to the top and select the color, just something that's going to pop with a white font or white text on the front of it. I'm just gonna pick this dark blue color. So next up, I'm gonna add the title of the show. So I'm just gonna hit T for text. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna write in your podcast name. I'm gonna make that a bit larger and I'm gonna drag it up. I'm gonna hit the position button at the top here and then center it and make it a little bit larger and what I want to do is make that white so I'm change the text color to white and then if it's off center you can just center it again really quickly the font here isn't the greatest so I'm going to go up to the top where it says Canva Sans and select a font so for clarity I do pay for the pro version of Canva it allows me to have more fonts and things to choose from and more elements to choose from you don't have to have the pro version if you want to make quick and easy thumbnails, you can use the free version, but I do use it so I can export things with a transparent background, which I'll touch on in just a few moments. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna pick a free font so you guys can replicate this if you want to. Might just pick this Anton one here that's nice and chunky and bold so it stands out. I'm going to add some sort of background imagery. So I like to use a photo or a still image from the actual podcast studio that we use for our podcast. So that is a photo of our podcast studio. I'm going to center that here and enlarge it so it fills up the entire space. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit position and send that backwards so it's behind that blue banner. In order for the faces of the guests and the host of the show to pop out a bit, I'm gonna make this background a bit blurrier. So I'm gonna hit this image and hit edit image at the top and I'm going to come down and select blur. And for this example, I'm just gonna hit auto and it adds a pretty decent blur. I'm happy with that, I'll hit apply. So it's looking pretty good to start off with. What I might do so I can keep using this template going forward into the future for all my ongoing episodes is I'm gonna hit this blue banner and lock it. I'll do that by hitting the three dot icon at the top here and I will lock that and I'll also lock the actual title of the podcast. So they never get messed with when I'm changing or adjusting things in the future. Likewise with the background, I can do the same because I don't see myself changing that background anytime soon. Now what I wanna do is add in some images or photos from the actual host or co-host of the show, or if you have a guest, you can add all those in now. So I'm gonna come and find some images that I have. Here's one of me. So for this example, this is why I pay for the pro version so I can remove the background. So what I'm gonna do is click this image here of me and I'm gonna hit edit image and then background removal on the left and it should do a pretty good job of cutting myself out off the background. You can see it has chopped out a bit of my headphone. We'll go in and edit that up in a second. But first of all, I wanna make myself a bit larger and get rid of that table off the image. So I'm gonna place it around there. And what I wanna do is just pull this little tab up from the bottom, just so I get rid of all that junk at the bottom and it doesn't intrude on my workspace. So now I can come up to the top left here and hit restore. And that's gonna restore some of the pixels that have been deleted off this image. And I can change the brush size here. I don't have to be too precise with how much I brush in. Obviously, if you have better experience in Photoshop or something, that would be very useful, but this is just a quick and simple design for newbies that want to get their thumbnails designed really, really fast in Canva. So I'm going to brush back in this headphone and it's not the greatest, but it will do for now. 
And there's actually a little bit that I want to remove here at the bottom that's kind of off the gray background that I had. So I'm going to come in. And for me, that's good enough. These are skills that you can learn over time with Photoshop, as I said, but for now, we're just making a quick and simple version in Canva. Now I'm gonna add in my beautiful partner, Sarah, my co-host for the show and do the same thing. So next thing you wanna add in your episode number, very important for the listeners and viewers to distinguish what episode they're up to or if they've seen the latest episode. So again, I'm gonna hit R to add a rectangle to this canvas. And what I want to do is make this white, for example. It doesn't have to be too large. I like it about this size and I want it again centered. So I'll hit position at the top here and center. All right, so now I'm going to hit T again to add some more text. And I'm just going to write in episode 10, for example, scale it up a bit. And to go on that white box, I want it to be a different color. So I might make it more of a ready color, for example. And it's not the best looking font. So what I'm gonna do is hit Canva, sends it up the top here, and let's find a more suitable font. Maybe this one, Horizon, looks kind of cool. And what we'll do is scale it down a bit. And then we want that positioned and aligned vertically and horizontally within the white box. All right, so I'm liking this design so far, but what I think needs to happen is we need to have our faces a bit more pronounced and prominent in the actual thumbnail. So what I'm gonna do is make our faces a bit larger. So we cover the blue banner and we cover some of the podcast title text. All right, so we're both pretty big there. As you can see, we're both covering the blue banner, but we're underneath the white text. So what we're gonna do is unlock that, send it back with the position button at the top here, hit backwards and then backwards again. So we're behind both of our faces. So the podcast the thumbnail is almost there. The main thing I have to add now is some sort of imagery that helps tie it all together and give context to what this episode is actually about and to tie it into the title of the episode. So for our show, we like to talk about technology and things quite a bit. And let's say, for example, this episode was about Elon Musk and Tesla. We can simply come over to the elements tab on the left here and go to search elements and just type in Tesla. And we'll be presented with a bunch of photos and graphics that we can use for this actual thumbnail. And that is another benefit of using the pro version of Canva is you get access to more stock images and therefore more flexibility in terms of what you can do with your actual thumbnail. So I like this one here with the white Tesla in the mountains. And I'm gonna drag this image in and simply scale it down a bit and have it in between us. So what I'm gonna do is unlock my image here so I can send this Tesla photo backwards and then it's underneath this microphone. One last thing you can do if you want is to add some depth to the image. I like to put some shadows around us to give us some depth from the actual blurred background. You can do that by clicking on the image of yourself or your guest. You can hit image and then you can come down on the left hand side and hit glow or drop. These give us some shadow. I might try glow in this instance. Let's see the controls and then we can see the size of the glow. I like to have it kind of subtle so it pops out. So I'm going to add a size seven and then I can come over to Sarah and do the same. And that's basically how I do my thumbnail designs for my podcast episodes. So now that I have a 16 by nine ratio for my podcast thumbnail, I can actually make a square version super simply using Canva Pro. And basically what you have to do is come up to the top left-hand corner here and hit resize. And we wanna make a square version as well so we can use it on things like Spotify. So I can come down and hit 1080 by 1080 for a square version and simply hit copy and resize. So it's gonna take all of those elements and fonts that I've just created and then put them on a square canvas. Now, all we have to do is sort of scale things around a bit more so it suits the square design. So what I'm gonna do is take this blue bar and the text, I can hit shift and click both so I can move them both together and drag them to the top of the page. So now that the banner's been moved, I need to make the background, the blurred background that we made a little bit larger to fill in these white gaps. So we'll scale that up. And now I can make the images of Sarah and myself larger by scaling ourselves up. So like I did with the top banner, I'm gonna come in and select the episode number as well as the white box behind it. You can actually group them as well, makes it a bit easier. And I'm gonna bring them both down a bit and then make sure they're positioned in the center. 
I might actually scale it up a bit more for this square design. And then lastly, we can make this Tesla image a bit bigger and more prominent behind us as well. And again, I'm just gonna make sure that is centered with the position tool and maybe bring it down a little bit. And that is how I make my square version of the thumbnail super fast after using all the elements that I've made from the 16 by nine ratio thumbnail. So now that you have these basic templates saved in Canva for all your ongoing episodes, all you have to do for each new episode is change the episode number, change the imagery that gives context to the actual episode content itself, and then you can change the images of you, the host, or your co-host or guests for each episode. And it should take you literally three or four minutes each week to make a new thumbnail for your episodes. If you want to increase the discoverability of your episodes using the square thumbnail that we just designed, check out this video here to see how to upload your video podcast to Spotify to help grow your show.